Okay, welcome to Mr. Wolf 51 Josh's YouTube channel. What I'm going to show you today is how to take pictures of things that are far away. Pictures, uh, videos, um, both. You can do both in, with this method, but uh, I get really frustrated because there's no zoom on my video on my iPhone 5. I can take great videos, but I can never zoom. It really bothers me a lot. So. I can't talk real loud today because I am out in my deer blind. However, I'm going to show you this. See this tree right here? It's approximately about 20, 25 yards away. And I, the iPhone 5 takes excellent videos. However, it doesn't have any zoom function unless you're taking pictures. And then it's still a little grainy when you do zoom. So I'm going to show you how you can take videos and zoom on, and zoom in on things and bring things that are far away in with your own pair of binoculars any kind of binoculars works and I will show you how this works real quick you bring them up to the iPhone's camera it will adjust for light compensation and there's that same tree on the binoculars now once you get good at it you can move around and video things as far away as you want to and I think that's a pretty cool trick works really well there's a leaf pile there down that shooting lane works really good and I will take the binoculars away now and it'll adjust for light and come back into focus there it goes and you can see there's the leaf pile way down the shooting lane. There's the tree that's about 25 yards away. It's a really good way to be able to take far away pictures of things. I've got some excellent deer footage of white-tailed deer this way. And uh, I think it's really cool. So anyway, let me, hold, let me show you one time how I'm holding the binoculars. I just hold them like this. I bring the phone right up to them. And then you just center it on there and wait for the light to adjust which it will and there we go and I'll take it away now and let it adjust there's the binoculars just like that works really good and you can take videos and if you take pictures <coughs> When you do just a, like a quarter of a zoom on the picture, it becomes full frame through, through the binoculars because it only uses a certain part of the screen. And then you don't see the circle of the binoculars when you're taking pictures. So you can do this when you're taking pictures and they come out really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching today. Uh, please comment, rate, and or subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. Anyway, I appreciate it and have a good day. Thanks for watching.